There's a reason Olivia is the longest running TV detective of all time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Olivia Benson moments from Law & Order SVU. For this list, we're looking at the times Olivia shone as a detective, whether by making valid points, taking down the bad guys, or supporting those in need. If a moment has her making an impact, it is eligible for this list. Also, in case you're not caught up yet, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. Becoming Captain After watching Detective Benson slowly climb the ladder for 20 years, hearing Dodds calling her captain flooded every viewer with happiness and relief. I've had a good run, and it's not time for you to stick your neck out. I'll be the judge of that. No. You've still got work to do and gas in the tank. It'd be a wasted sacrifice. Captain. The news is somewhat bittersweet as it comes with Dodds' transfer to the Traffic and Safety Task Force in Staten Island. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. But more than anything, the promotion represents some well-earned recognition for Benson's hard work and commitment, a culmination of well over 400 episodes. While it probably should have come sooner, we can't wait to see how Captain Benson will shape the future course of the show. You are a class act, Olivia Benson. Long may you run. Number 9. Getting High on Mushroom Vapors You have a photo that puts you at the scene? At Niagara Falls? Ring a bell? Look, we know we shouldn't have laughed, but we did. The intense music and concerned parties in the room make us feel even worse, but come on. Benson accused her perp of stabbing the captain with a pickle, and she did so with a completely straight face. I'm not the one who stabbed the captain with the pickle. Uh -oh. What makes this such a great moment for her, despite her spouting this ridiculous line and passing out, is that when she comes to and is told that she'd inhaled toxic mushroom vapors, she doesn't even acknowledge it and gets straight to the point about the case at hand. He confessed to murder yet? Number 8. Adopting Noah a lot of times when Olivia Benson gets a win, there's a loss involved somewhere too. While SVU is full of people who commit despicable acts, this particular episode features a harrowing incident that leads to multiple casualties. Although it's impossible to disregard, we do still get to celebrate when Olivia finally adopts Noah and officially becomes his mom. Congratulations, Olivia. And to you, Noah Porter Benson. I'm signing off on the adoption. Thank you, Jen. This final episode of the season also features another fan favorite character, Olivia's partner Nick Amaro, departing the show. Wow, so whatever happens, Nick Amaro. Friends for life. Friends for life. These life-changing moments and Benson's acceptance of everything that's happened is why she's as strong as she is. Number 7. Saving Stabler I'm Mike. Look, the deal is uh, I've been smuggling ecstasy for the past couple of years and I'm just, you know, looking to make my next move. Going undercover is a risky gambit, but Detective Elliot Stabler does just that to infiltrate a black market animal smuggling ring. While he does end up getting shot, it's still a better alternative to actually being killed, which is almost what happens. Elliot? Elliot, can you hear me? Thankfully, Benson's quick thinking and ingenuity saves them both, although not in a way that anyone, including Stabler, could have predicted. Hmm, are you ready for me, Daddy? Oh, didn't know we were having a party. That's gonna be 100 to watch, 250 to join each. When she tricks the armed assailants into thinking that she's Stabler's prostitute, Stabler is left speechless. But we could hear his heart beating from our couches. Number 6. Winning in Russian Roulette By season 15, Olivia is a hardened detective who's seen and been through a lot. Nonetheless, the game of Russian Roulette she's forced to play with serial killer Lewis takes things to another level. Friends are here. Let's make it interesting for them. Every click of the barrel is a life or death moment, and we can see that tension all over her face. Pull the trigger, Olivia, or I will. However, she's willing to go through this trauma in order to rescue the 12-year-old girl that Lewis has kidnapped. 
In the end, Lewis shoots himself. And while the ordeal has lasting repercussions on the detective's mental state, the scene is another testament to what she'll do for others. Look, I know that you think that this is PTSD, but the truth of the matter is, I knew the risk involved. I knew that I could die. It is what it is. Number five, fooling Stucky. <sighs> Imagine the shock that went through Olivia's head when she saw her partner battered and strapped to a chair. Fortunately, Detective Benson has always been able to think and act quickly on her feet, which she's had to do on numerous occasions. This time, the stakes are incredibly high, and one wrong decision could be the end of both detectives' lives. Dale? Put your gun down. Dale? Put your gun down! Pretending that she despised Stabler as much as Stucky did worked to great effect, highlighting Benson's skills as a psychological profiler. You think that you're the only one whose life is hell because of this person? <clears throat> Live, do this. <clears throat> Live, do that. Her slapping her partner a few times definitely raised some eyebrows too. I want to hear him scream. Number four, her first appearance. Sex crime. Olivia Benson. Elliot Stabler. SVU has been running for so long, we sometimes forget where our humble detective started. While Benson does grow significantly throughout the runtime of the show, the pilot does a great job of not only establishing the theme of the show, but also Olivia as a character. We get to see how she sympathizes with victims of rape and sexual assault, and her reaction to their desire to retaliate. Listen to me. I know what a shock it must have been to see Tanzik in that cab. Don't talk to anybody without talking to your lawyer. No one say nothing. We also get a sense that Elian and Liv may eventually be an item, but their relationship remains strictly professional. I'm a good cop, Elliot. Yeah, I know. Number three, going undercover. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? The season nine episode Undercover managed to be both engaging and incredibly hard to watch at the same time. In order to investigate a teenage girl's claim that a corrections officer raped her and is threatening her mother, Benson dons an orange jumpsuit and does a stint behind bars. Hands against the wall, spread them. Come on, should a woman be doing Shut this? Up. During the investigation, the corrections officer, Captain Lowell Harris, attacks her, showing his true colors. Help! Somebody! Help! It's an edge of your seat episode that shows the lengths to which the detective will go to to uncover the truth and protect those who cannot protect themselves. You're under arrest for raping Ashley Tyler. And the attempted murder of a police officer. Number two, coming to terms with Stabler's departure. Is Stabler coming back? It's up to him. Elliot Stabler was Olivia Benson's partner for 12 seasons. That's a long time for two people to work together. But after actor Christopher Maloney decided to leave the show, Stabler had to be written out in the season 13 premiere. Olivia's emotional moment when she learns that Stabler has retired parallels our own. Elliot put his papers in. There was nothing I could do. He's earned it. And then some. There's shock and also not a few tears. After all, the two had not only been colleagues, but also best friends for over a decade. Despite Stabler's departure, however, Olivia does ultimately hold down the fort, forging on and continuing to captivate audiences. You want to take a day? I'm fine. Hands down, Olivia Benson is one of the most badass characters on television. Prove me wrong. Like, she's strong, but also in touch with her emotions. Anyway, we've got one standout Olivia Benson moment left. So let's look at some honorable mentions, and then we'll see what's at the top. Any breaks in the Van Dyne case? Captain says following procedure, we shouldn't discuss it with you. Someone's framing me. So fill me in on any details that don't involve me. Welcome to the swing set. I'm Suzette. Hi, Suzette. Uh, this is my wife, Olivia. I'm Elliot. And you were invited by... A friend of my husband, Jerry Bullard. I guess this isn't your first time at the hoedown, is it? Actually, it is. We'll know when the prints come back. Yeah, we will. Now, let's go find a nice, quiet room where you can tell me what mean thing I did to provoke you into hitting me. I you. never hit you! And I'm not going to some good old boy back room alone with you. I want a lawyer. Let her go and let's just talk about it. There's nothing to discuss. Please, Mr. Plummer. Don't think I won't. Yeah, I'm counting on a Detective Benson. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the 911 call. Please, will you help me? We will, sweetheart. We're gonna be there soon. If you're gonna have an entire episode centered around a call, the dialogue and emotion in the voices need to stand out. And they definitely do here. What does he do, Maria? <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. Olivia does her best to put all the pieces of the puzzle together from the limited information the scared little girl on the other end of the line gives her, and the heartbreak she feels when she feels like she's losing her is palpable to the audience. No. Oh. We get to problem solve alongside Olivia in this episode, which often feels all too real. It's no wonder actress Mariska Hargitay picked up an Emmy for her troubles. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.